morning students welcome back to mathematics online class so in the last class we discussed up to example 10 from this day is examples this day is examples now example 11 see the example 11 here the example 11 is example 11 example 11 see the question here show that show that so that sign in was sign in was equal by the thing plus cos in was 4 by 5 plus tan in was 63 by 16 is equal to 5. So that sign in was 4 by 13 plus cos in was 4 by 5. Plus tan of 63 by 16 is equal to 5. Clear? So, this is the given question mark. We want to prove this condition. So, we want to prove by taking LHS is equal to RHS. Right? So, for that, here first we have to consider here. Here we have to consider. Here we have to consider. First, here we take the LHS here. What is the LHS here? Right? Right? Sign in plus 4 by 13 plus cos plus 4 by 5 plus char plus 63 by 16. So, same one. Then here the given are three terms. Three terms. So, first term we have to take x. First term we have to take the x. Sign in plus 4 by 13 as x. Right. Similarly, Cos inverse 4 by 5 as y. Then tan inverse 63 by 16. Tan inverse 63 by 16 as z. As z. Right. Now, here from this, we have to write the here tan function is lemma. So that these terms also come in terms of tan data. Further, here sin x is equal to 1, sin x is equal to 1, 1, 1 by 13, sin x is 12 by 13. So, from the Pythagoras theorem, from the right angle triangle, from the right angle triangle, so here x is angle means sin theta means opposite side is 12, hypotenuse is 13, then what is the adjacent side? 5. So, from the Pythagoras theorem, we have to apply the side square plus side square is equal to hypotenuse square. Then we get the our side is 5. That means tan x is equal to 1. From this triangle, tan x is 1, 1 by 5. Tan x is 1 by 5. Similarly, here cos y is equal to 1, 4 by 5. So here also, from the Pythagoras theorem, tan y is equal to 1, tan y is equal to opposite by adjacent. Opposite side is 3. 3 divided by so, so here you know tan x so tan y. From this tan z is equal to what? Tan z is equal to 63 by 16. Tan z is 63 by 16. So from by using these two conditions now, tan x is equal to 4 by 5 and tan y is equal to 3 by 4. Since already you know the formula, since tan of x plus y formula is tan of x plus y is equal to tan x plus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. So, because here you know the tan x value and tan y value is first to take tan of x plus y is equal to tan of x plus y is equal to tan x is equal to what here? 1 by 5. 1 by 5 plus tan y value is 3 by 4. 4 divided by 1 minus 4 by 5 into 3 by 4. 4 by 5 into 3 by 4. So, tan of x plus y is equal to tan of x plus y is equal to here the LCM is 61. 5, 4 LCM is 20. Sorry. 5, 4 LCM is 20. 5, 4 is 20. 20 LCM. 5 4s are 20, 4 into 12, 12 4s are 
and this is for the equation of the last one. The equation of the last one. Sin inverse 4 by 13 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 16, 3 by 16 is equal to 5. See more in your question one second. So they given the three terms. Sin inverse 4 by 13 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 16 by 16. So first sin inverse 4 by 13, you have to take x. Second term y, third term is z. So here tan z is there on plus y. Here also we have to find tan x and tan y values. For the given conditions, tan x and tan y values find out. Already you know the formula, tan of x plus y formula. By using tan of x plus y formula, again you get minus 63 by 16. Minus 63 by 16 is nothing but minus tan you know, minus tan will be right there. Then minus tan the possibility is minus tan we can write as tan of minus z or tan of pi minus z tan of pi minus z so in first case we have the tan of x plus y is equal to tan of minus z in the second case tan of x plus y is equal to tan of pi minus z okay. so it, it is not possible because x y z are in this positive integers so here positive integers are not the positive value that's why it is does not it does not exist so case 2 is exist so that the answer is fine. Answer is fine. Next example two. Very very important example two. Example two. So the example two. Simplify. Simplify. Tan inverse. Tan inverse. A cos x. A cos x. Minus B sin x. A cos x minus B sin x. Divided by B cos x. Plus B cos x plus A sin x A sin x. Simplify. Tan inverse of A cos x minus B sin x divided by B cos x plus A sin x. If A by B into tan x. A by B into tan x greater than minus one. Greater than minus one. It's common now. A by B tan x greater than minus one. The condition is still common. So there A by B tan x always greater than minus one. So we want to simplify this function. Simplify this function. Before simplifying it, once we have to observe the when the inverse determinant function is tan inverse. Tan inverse is there. So when tan inverse function is given, when tan inverse function is given. These terms also convert in terms of tan beta in terms of tan beta. So tan beta we very very good way. Tan beta for the denominator plus to be one. Denominator will be tan x plus y or tan x minus y. In denominator, one is fixed. So either we have to observe tan x plus y or tan x minus y. And then we say observe the value of the value of the tan. X plus Y formula convert out X plus Y or X minus Y. Based on the problem, we should take the tan of X plus Y or tan of X minus Y. The A value that we want to do is based on the first term. We now make first term. B cos X. B cos X. So here, B cos X is there on B cos X. So that we have to divide both numerator and denominator by the B cos X. So the solution is First, we get the tan inverse of a cos x minus b sin x divided by b cos x plus a sin x. By dividing b cos x, tan inverse of tan inverse of b 
divided by b cos x now. You may remember the denominator. A cos x divided by b cos x minus e sin x divided by e cos x all divided by b cos x divided by b cos x plus a sin x divided by a sin x. Right. Now here cos x cos x eliminator cos x cos x eliminate that means tan inverse of a by b minus b b eliminate sin x by cos x is tan x all divided by the b cos x b cos x eliminate one minus one plus a also eliminate then what is the remaining a we are dividing with b cos x now then b cos x b cos x b cos x means what is the remaining value here a by b into tan x a by b into tan x the remaining value a by b into tan x clear so now it is in the form of tan plus of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y here you don't get confused see this is the form of right hand side value now tan plus of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y and the x by side now a by b is here y by side now tan plus tan x y by side tan x so tan plus of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y is equal to tan plus x minus tan plus tan plus of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y is tan plus x minus tan plus y that means you write this value as tan plus of x is x value is what here a by b a by b minus tan plus y value is tan x tan x that means tan plus a by b minus tan plus of tan x is x tan plus of tan x is x so answer is tan plus a by b minus x this is the simplest form of tan plus of a cos x minus b sin x divided by b cos x plus a sin x in what is our goal already this type of problem completed second exercise but the way that you have Eighth question: Tan inverse of cos x minus sin x. Eighth question: Tan inverse of cos x minus sin x divided by cos x plus sin x is there. Okay. For this problem also, we are divided with cos x. Cos x to divide by numerator and denominator. Can also say that b cos x is there, so that here we are. Dividing, dividing both numerator and denominator by b cos x. By b cos x. B cos x to divide by one. Right. So b cos x to divide by one. Then tan inverse of a by b minus x. This is the example. Well, right. Next example. Example thirteen. Last example, the serious example. This is the last example. Serious example. Okay. Example thirteen. Example. Example thirteen. Example thirteen. Example thirteen. See here. So. So, tan plus two x, tan plus two x, plus tan plus three x, plus tan plus three x is equal to five. So, is not equal to x value. Find x value. So means find the x value. So, when you ask me, find the x value. So means find the x value. So, for this question. Let x is equal to x mark. Let 
x value is push mark. We want to find the x value. So given that, given that, tan inverse to x, tan inverse to x plus tan inverse to x is equal to pi by four. That means tan inverse of x plus y, tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula. So tan inverse x plus y, x plus three x divided by one minus two x into three x is equal to pi by four. Is equal to pi by four. So now tan inverse transpose to other side. That is implies two x plus three x is five x divided by one minus six x squared. Is equal to tan pi by four. Is equal to tan pi by four. Already know tan pi by four. Tan pi by four is equal to one. Tan pi by four is one. So that pi x divided by one point six six three is equal to one. Tan pi by four value is one. Now apply the cross multiplication. Pi x is equal to one minus six x squared. One minus Six x squared by taking left side. This is six x squared minus five x plus one. Sorry, six x squared minus five x minus one is equal to zero. Six x squared minus five x minus one is equal to zero. Can you find the factors here? Four plus first and last term is minus six. Middle term is minus five. Can you find the factors? The factors. Satisfies this condition. Minus six, or one hundred minus six, and one hundred minus five only. So minus six and one, minus six plus one you have to get. Minus six plus one. Here are one hundred minus five only. Then one hundred minus one two values. Minus six. So minus six. Right. Now here six x squared. Minus six, minus six. This will be the middle term as minus six x so minus six. Minus one is equal to zero. Minus one is equal to zero. From this two terms, which is common, six x is common. So take six x common. Then x minus one, minus one is common. This is minus six x plus x one. Plus x. So by taking minus one common, this is x minus. Take plus one common common here. By taking plus one, x minus one is equal to zero. So six x plus one into x minus one is equal to zero. Then six x plus one is equal to zero one factor. X minus one is equal to zero one factor. X is equal to minus one by six. X is equal to one. X is equal to minus one by six. X is equal to one. But here, X is equal to minus one by six does not exist. X is equal to minus one by six does not exist. Okay? X is equal to minus one by six. So, X is equal to minus one by six. The equation satisfies all. X is equal to minus one by six. Here, by transpose this terms to left side, this is six x square plus five x minus one is equal to zero. Six x square plus five x minus one is equal to zero. So product of first and last term is minus six. Middle term is five. So six and minus one is the factors. Six and minus one. So that means six x squared plus six minus x minus one is equal to zero. From these two terms, six x is common. Take six x common. By taking six x common, this is x plus one. 
from these two terms minus one is common. Minus one is common. So by taking minus one common here, x plus one is equal to zero. So again, x plus one is common. Six x minus one into x plus one is equal to zero. So six x minus one is equal to zero, and x plus one is equal to zero. Then x is equal to one by six. X is equal to minus one. This minus term two does not exist. This function. X is equal to minus one. Okay. That's why x is equal to minus one is non-answer. Does not exist. Does not exist in this one. A four. A four. X is equal to one by six. This one by six only satisfies the given equation. X is equal to one by six only satisfies the given equation. This is all examples. Example ten, eleven. From example ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, these are the three marks questions from this chapter. Three marks questions. Now, this is the exercise problems. This is exercise problems. This is exercise. Um, Stop. This is exercise on chapter two. Find the value of the following. The given possible questions find the value of find the value of following find the value of following. So the first question is cos inverse cos of thirty by six thirty by six. So here. Cos inverse of cos thirteen by six is so directly cos inverse of cos is given thirteen by six is the answer. But thirteen by six does not satisfy the area of cos inverse six. So here, so which means cos inverse of cos thirteen by six is equal to thirteen by six. But it does not satisfy the area of cos inverse six. Does not satisfy the rate of cos inverse six. That's why we write cos thirteen by six value six. Six cos thirteen by six we can write as cos six two zero right two pi plus pi by six two pi plus pi by six. So that two pi plus pi by six is first quadrant. Cos pi by six. So in place of cos thirteen pi by six, we write the cos pi by six. So cos inverse of cos thirteen pi by six. That is equal to cos inverse of cos this thirteen pi by six value. We can write cos pi by six. Cos cos Plus five by six, then cos inverse of cos five by six is equal to five by six, so which is equal to four by one zero comma five. Cos inverse of cos five by six is equal to five by six. First question answer is first question answer is five by six. Second question answer also five by six. So the second one. So here, second so question is second one is tan inverse of tan inverse of tan seven by six. Tan inverse of tan seven by six. Here also, 
अच्छा बेटा टैल प्लस साउथ टैल सेवेन बाय बेस सिक्स ऑफ रेड सेवेन बाय बेस सिक्स ऑफ रेड आंसर बट डू इट डज नॉट ब्लॉक्स टू बी रेंज ऑफ टैल प्लस सिक्स माइनस फाइव बाय टू फाइव बाय टू दैट्स वन सेवेन बाय बेस सिक्स इज नॉट द आंसर देन व्हाट वी हैव राइट नाउ टू बाय टैल प्लस tan seven by six as tan plus of tan the seven by six is five minus five minus or five plus five by six five plus five by six five plus five by six is nothing but seven by six so so third quadrant this is third quadrant in the third quadrant tan the first two are Tan plus south, tan by the sixth one. So the answer is by the sixth. This is belongs to the over the top minus by the top comma by the top. Answer is by the sixth. Answer is by the sixth. Clear? So this type of problems are already solved in the second exercise. Similar problems. Next question. Next question. Two the two. The last question for today two. Three to twelve questions. After twelve questions, two hundred questions more. Two to twelve questions. So two hundred questions more. Okay. Now this is the question number three. Question number. Question number two. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two sine inverse, two sine inverse, three by five is equal to tan inverse twenty-four by seven. So that two sine inverse three by five is equal to tan inverse twenty-four by seven. So here we have to take the LHS. LHS is two sine inverse three by five. But you know the two tan inverse x formula, two tan inverse x formula. That's why this sine inverse three by five will be in terms of tan and tan. First, you have to consider here. Consider this value. Sine inverse three by five is equal to sine inverse three by five is equal to x. Then sine x is equal to what? Three by five. So now write the tan x value. Now the right angle right angle. So tan x is equal to what? This is three. This is five. The number of this is four. Tan x is equal to what? Three by four. So x is equal to what? Tan inverse three by four. Another thing we can do. X is equal to sine inverse three by five, and also x is equal to tan inverse three by five. Okay, we need to take you need function of sine inverse only sine inverse three by five very good. Their function do tan and tan are both equal. Tan was three by four and two are equal. Right. So here two tan was three by four is equal to now two tan was six for what? Two tan was six has three for what? Two tan was six has three for what? But which for what we have to use here is here the required answer is tan was six. So the here we have to use the for what for two tan was six as Two tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of two x divided by one minus x squared from one. Two tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of two x divided by one minus x squared from one. Clear? So by using the formula here, tan inverse of two x two x and then two into three by four divided by One minus e by four whole square. One minus e by four whole square. So tan inverse. This value is six by four divided by one minus nine by sixteen. One minus nine by sixteen. Tan inverse six by four. Okay, so we have to add one more. Sixteen minus nine. 
16 minus 9 value is what? 16 minus 9 is 7. So 7 by 16 is what? That means 16 by 8. 7. 16 by 7. 4 fourth of 16. 4 fourth of 16. So tan inverse 7. 6 fourth of 24 divided by 8. 7. Tan inverse 6 24 by 8. 7. Tan inverse 24 by 7 is what now? Where are the sun? This is the RHS. So by taking the edges, we do the RHS here. Here, first two sine inverse 3 by 5 is written. 2 sine inverse 3 by 5. Sine inverse 3 by 5, you have to take x. Sine inverse 3 by 5 as x. Now sine inverse is equal to 3 by 5. From this, tan x is equal to what? 3 by 4. So x is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4. So 2 tan inverse x for bar. You know that 2 tan inverse x has 3 formulas. In that we talk to use the tan inverse 3x divided by 1 minus x squared condition. So tan inverse 3x divided by 1 minus x squared. Then tan inverse 24 by 7. 24 by 7. Therefore, and then we have right here. Therefore, therefore, therefore 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to tan inverse 24 by 7. Hence, hence, true. Hence, true. Right. Next question. Next question is fourth question. Do that. Do that. That sine inverse sine inverse eight by seventeen plus sine inverse three by five is equal to tan inverse seventy seven by thirty six seventy seven by thirty six. This type of problems. This type of problems are. Important for three months. Four, five, six, seven. These are questions are similar questions only. Four, five, six, seven. So first here we have to observe the LHS is not LHS is LHS is sine inverse eight by seventy plus sine inverse three by five. Also we have to observe the required proof. Required proof is what tan inverse of four. 77 by 36. Right. That's why here first you have to take consider here sine inverse 8 by 70 is equal to x. Then sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to y. Here sine x is equal to 8 by 70. Here sine y is equal to 3 by 5. Then here what you want to find cross x so cross y or tan x tan y and there. Based on the required proof, why well, here required proof is in terms of tan data is there. Required proof is in terms of tan data. So that here we have to find the tan x value. Tan x is equal to what? From the Pythagoras theorem. From the Pythagoras theorem. Here angle is x. Sin x of the opposite side is 80, and the opposite side is 8. Hypotenuse is 70. Then adjacent side is square root of 17 square minus 8 square. 17 square value is 17 square is. So finally, it is 15. This is 15. So that we have 17 square value is 7749. So square root 225 that is 15. That means tan x is equal to what? Opposite side is 8. Adjacent side is 15. Similarly, here sin y means here y is angle, this is 3, this is 5. This one is 4. So tan y is equal to what? 
tan y is equal to 3 by 4. So tan x is equal to 8 by 15. Tan y is equal to 3 by 4. Now, since we are required to prefer tan on so that since here we have to use either tan of tan of x plus y formula or tan of x minus y formula. It is for a cos of sin of x, sin of x plus y or sin of x minus y, cos of x plus y or cos of x minus y. Then tan is there also so that here we have to use tan x plus y formula. Since tan of x plus y is equal to, you know that formula for tan of x plus y. What is that? Tan x plus y. Tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. Tan x plus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. So here, first two tan x tan y minus tan x value is 8 by 15 plus tan y value is more 3 by 4 divided by 1 minus 8 by 15 into 3 by 4. So this is the tan of x plus y value. Tan of x plus y value. Now oh, simplify that. Simplify this. Here, what is the LCM now? The numerator LCM is 15, 4 LCM is 16. 16 is LCM. So 15, 4 is 16. 4 is 32. Plus 15, 3 is 45. Then here yeah, LCM is 16. 60 minus 24. 60 minus 24. So 60, 60 anyway. 32 plus 45. 32 plus 45 is what? 77. So tan of x plus y is equal to tan of x plus y is equal to 77 divided by 60 minus 24. 10 minus 46. Thank you. It's two. 5 minus 3 is 3. That is it. So x plus y is equal to tan inverse 77 by 36. And then you write the concept as and the concept you can write as therefore x means one more sine inverse 8 by 8. 17 plus y means what sine inverse 3 by 5. Sine inverse that is equal to tan inverse of 77 by 36. Hence, 2. Thank you. So, based on our letters, we have to solve the problems. On the cross of the cross, we have to solve the problem. Tan is the tan is sine of x. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Yeah. Two questions. Two left. Two left. Pass in this. One by five. Pass in this. One by five. Plus. Pass in this. One by nine. Pass in this. One by nine. Is equal to pass in this. Thirty-three by sixty-five. Thirty-three by sixty-five. Same question, the required group cost was so that first we are going to take LHS, otherwise we are going to take LHS to consider the functions. Take consider functions, consider cost was 4 by 5 is equal to x. So, then cost was 1 by 13 is equal to y. Then what cos x is equal to what point here? 4 by 5. From this cos y is equal to 1 by 30. So here we have to take from the right angle triangle. From the right angle triangle to the x circle. Adjacent side is 4. Hypotenuse is 5. So this side is 10. So from this side x is what? Side x is equal to 3 by 5. Similar way here. Angle is 1, this is 12, this is 13, so adjacent sign is 5. So sine y is 4, sine y is 